Hi everyone, today I will be talking about what is blockchain in simple terms, how it works, what are its components and closing with a few examples. All this using a visual method where I have prepared some diagrams and all. Stay tuned and please watch the video till the end and also like the video. Thanks. So here is the overview of what I am going to talk about. First I will start with blockchain, some history, what is a block, how technical things like hash work, how it transforms into decentralization, what is the network, closing with some examples and my few thoughts. So let's start with what exactly is blockchain. A blockchain is a chain of packets of digital information. The packets are arranged in order of time they have been created and secured using cryptography. All this, uh, the entire chain is managed in a decentralized manner. When I say blockchain, the most critical part is consensus mechanism. And this consensus mechanism is not something very new. In fact, in 1980s or 90s, anonymous e-cash protocols using Shaumian blinding, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, came into existence. Then in 1998, V dies B money, which was the first to introduce decentralized consensus mechanism. And in 2005, Hal Finney's reusable proof of work concept came into existence. Then only in 2009, a pseudo anonymous person or a group of people called Satoshi Nakamoto launched Bitcoin paper, white paper, or published the proof of work consensus. That's when the true journey of all these cryptocurrencies came into light. Then in 2013, Vitalik launched Ethereum white paper, which gave some uh, additional benefits like not only storing transactions, but also storing data like a smart contract on all those kind of things and ability to build application over the top of the existing blockchain. Now let's look at what exactly is inside each of these blocks and how are they connected. A block has three main components. One is data, which is details like who is the buyer, who is the sender, what is the amount they have sent. Second one is hash. Think of it as like a digital fingerprint or some unique ID which cannot be changed. Okay. And another one is hash of the previous block. This is very important. This is how each of the blocks are connected with one another. So I've talked a little about hash. So let's see how this hash helps connect all the chains of blockchain. First block is called a Genesis block, which is slightly different which does not have a previous hash. So ignore that. Uh, hash of this particular Genesis block is saved in block number two. And that hash and all the data and everything, every information is used to calculate the hash of second block, which comes out to be supposed 23HGU. Now that 23HGU is passed on to the block number three and all those information, the data of that block three all the transaction and this 23HGU is passed on to block three to create its hash, which is X1 and 07. So hashes are not this simple to look at. For example, the word YouTube has a SHA-256, that's a kind of hash, just ignore, which looks something like this, a lengthy hexadecimal fixed length. So what, what happens is you take the data, whatever you want to convert to hash, pass it through a function, a special function called hash function. So even if you take a GB of data or one word, the output would be fixed length. That's the beauty of hash function, let's call it that. And even a minor change, like you say hi and capitalize the um, H or capitalize everything. Just one byte or one bit change can change the entire block. Since each of these blocks hashes have been linked. If you change one, the entire hash of the following uh, blocks will change in the link uh, in the chain. There are a few major types of blocks like SHA-1, SHA-2, which is used in Bitcoin. SHA-2 has other sub categories like one of which is SHA-256, just ignore. MD5, which was earlier used, CR32. These hash functions are also used to save your password, not just in blockchain, but in every uh, major websites or platforms nowadays. If hashes are used at all the other places or simple platforms like Web2 applications, then what is it which makes blockchain so unique? The answer is decentralization or the peer-to-peer -peer network in which everyone operates in a very 
autonomous anonymous way in a peer to peer network all the individuals who participate in validating the network are called nodes okay these individuals get a copy of the entire blockchain and they agree that this is the sacred chain and there is no differences nothing changes this is what there is now if you want to add a new block suppose you came up with some data you put some data like i i paid this person xyz and you want these individuals to add it to the blockchain then each of these individuals will check if the block is valid the hash is valid and if, once the majority of the people agree that this is a valid block this has paid all the dues and transaction fee and all those kind of things then that will be included in the main branch main blockchain decentralized manner of coming to consensus is something which makes blockchain very unique there are different consensus mechanisms like proof of work which is used in bitcoin proof of stake which is used in um, ethereum and some other so the, there is a difference between blockchains and applications which are built over the blockchain like there are different blockchains called bitcoin ethereum solana avalanche and using ethereum there are multiple chains which have been formed but those are also blockchains anyway the blockchain is evolving at a very rapid pace there are now smart contracts layer 2s new consensus mechanisms de being developed and a lot of new things which are happening so all in all this is a very hot field and if you want to get into this uh, this is the right time any place where we want to keep our data for a very long time we want to keep our applications or whatever we are trying to develop for a very long time and we don't want to depend on a third party like suppose you are developing an api for twitter then you don't want the twitter guy to close that particular api which has happened in the past for a few other companies not twitter specifically the person who developed that particular business using the api of twitter and now the api of twitter has been closed then what what happens now the whole business of that particular individual or company goes bust this is not the case over here since whatever is posted on the blockchain network stays there for eternity at least that's the hope then you can be rest assured that your data or your apis or anything which you develop on the blockchain will stay on the blockchain thanks everyone for watching till now please like the video and subscribe and that's all for today see you next time roshan sharma